Hi, I'm Sue Ritz, and I'm in Tucson, Arizona. I'm in my office here. I spent 24 years in the Army National Guard. I rose to the rank of Master Sergeant and retired in 2007. I've been a Republican fairly consistently since my deployment in 2004 when I voted for George Bush. But in 2016, when it came to a choice between Donald J. Trump and Hillary Clinton, I could not vote for either of them. And I voted for a third party candidate. I thought then that Donald J. Trump was a simple minded buffoon. And I thought everybody else could see that too, but I was wrong. So when he was elected, I was pretty conflicted, but I wanted to give him an opportunity to do a good job, thinking that like other men who had gone and uh, been raised to the presidency, that somehow the office was bigger than the man. Boy, was I wrong. The day that he praised Putin at Stockholm was the day I lost it. I would never, ever vote for anybody so deplorable as Donald J. Trump. He actually praised Vladimir Putin. Look, I was raised in the Cold War. I was a cold warrior. I did the stomp and drag when I was a member of an MP unit back in Colorado in 1981. So there was just no way in hell I could ever, ever see my way to voting for somebody who praised, in my view, somebody who was the enemy. And then came COVID. Now, at first, it looked like Donald would go ahead and get his act together, but I was wrong. He did not only not get his act together, he used it as a weapon against the other states in order for them to what? Toe the line? Who does he think he is? Vladimir Putin? Xi Jinping? Uh, uh, Kim Jong Un? Does he does does he want to be a dictator? And then finally, the last straw of all was. The, uh, what are they, brown shirts walking around in Portland picking people up? What the hell is wrong with this guy? It would have been such a straightforward matter to go to the aid of the country when they were in such distress, when the disease is ravaging us everywhere. But no, he chose to use it as a weapon against us. He hates his countrymen. I don't think he has any thought or love for anybody except himself. Vote for him at your peril. I'm voting for Joe Biden.